All right, now we're going to do breaking news out of Washington. And ABC News projects that Republicans will keep control of the U.S. House. The GOP, GOP will have control of both chambers of Congress, which will most likely help President-elect Donald Trump push his agenda. Today, Trump met with President Biden at the White House, the two shaking hands in the Oval Office, Biden promising a smooth transition, a ritual Trump refused to participate in four years ago when he left the White House in a cloud of scandal. And moments ago, Donald Trump added new names to his picks for his cabinet. Yeah, I want to anchor Joe Torres is in the newsroom with all the latest headlines. Joe. Yeah, Liz and David, we'll get to the meeting of the presidents in a moment. But yes, just minutes ago, we got word of the president-elect's surprising choice for attorney general, Florida Congressman, Matt Gates to lead a Justice Department that previously investigated but never charged him on allegations of sex trafficking and obstruction of justice. Now, as for the Oval Office meeting today, a substantive meeting, an exchange of views. That's how the White House press secretary described today's get together of the 46th president and the soon to be 47th president. More specifically, they talked about domestic policy issues and national security. But above, above all, President Biden made one point crystal clear. The transition of power will be peaceful and orderly. No vitriol, no name calling, no finger pointing today at the White House as the former and future president returned to the Oval Office for a meeting with the current president who welcomed back his predecessor with a hearty handshake. Thank you very much and uh, politics is tough and it's uh, in many cases, not a very nice world, but it is a nice world today, and I appreciate it very much. The president-elect started his day on Capitol Hill. He met with House Republicans. Thank you very much. This is a very nice gathering. Isn't it nice to win? The Trump transition is in full swing. Already more than a dozen people slated for top positions in the new administration. Among them, Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy. They will lead an agency that at the moment doesn't exist, the Department of Government Efficiency. One particular appointment caught some Republicans by surprise. Pete Hegseth, a talk show host on Fox News, will serve as defense secretary and oversee the Pentagon and 1.3 million active duty troops. The U.S. Army veteran has no government experience. The Pentagon likes to say, our diversity is our strength. What a bunch of garbage. In the military, our diversity is not our strength. Our unity is our strength. Let's send President Trump back to the White House. That is Christy Nome, Mr. Trump's pick to be Secretary of Homeland Security. The South Dakota governor would manage the Secret Service, FEMA, and Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. And one more presidential pick to tell you about, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard to serve as the Director of National Intelligence. Gabbard, you might remember, ran for president four years ago. She is a veteran with more than two decades of military service, and she currently serves as a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army Reserve.